radical realism, from linear economy to a zero-waste society. Our current economy relies on the unsustainable exploitation of resources for the creation of quickly consumed products. These products are generally designed to have a short life and therefore end up all too often in landfills or incinerators with toxic impacts on our environment. However, waste is not only an issue at the disposal stage. Our linear economy, the extraction of resources, their manufacturing, transportation, consumption and their disposal, generates a major portion of global greenhouse gas emissions and hence contributes significantly to aggravating the climate and the environmental crises. One essential step to fight these multiple crises would be to adopt an economy of circular and zero waste systems. In such systems, we would produce significantly less and products would be made from sustainable sources and built to last. That way, we can reduce our environmental impact and enhance local businesses while generating jobs. Five steps towards a zero-waste society are First, preventing waste wherever and whenever possible. Second, recovering waste products. Third, redesigning products that currently cannot be reused, composted or recycled. Fourth, building on strong community action and local-led initiatives, as people and communities lie at the heart of the zero-waste society. Fifth, phasing out dumps, landfills, and so-called waste-to-energy incinerators. Radical realism for climate justice means shifting away from linear production to zero-waste societies.